while we've been singing, dancing, and drawing to make ourselves feel better for centuries, now real science is showing us that it's actually making us healthier. With the growing organic and real food movement, the popularity of food blogs, and numerous food industry documentaries, it could be easy to assume that good health is solely the result of what you put on your plate. But why do some smokers live to 100 and some fitness fanatics die young? Why do some people experience broken heart syndrome after a traumatic event? The truth is, food is just one piece of the wellness puzzle, and true health is a combination of sound mind, body, and spirit. Currently, chronic diseases affect 133 million Americans, or close to 45% of the population. Many of these diseases, heart disease in particular, are associated with depression, chronic stress, and other psychosocial difficulties. Research has found that engaging in creative activities such as music, visual arts, movement, or creative writing actually has the ability to reduce stress and depression and therefore mitigate chronic disease. For example, listening to music has been shown to decrease anxiety, restore emotional balance, and in some cases, even abolish pain. Visual art, such as painting or drawing, has been found to help people express experiences that are too difficult to put into words, such as the diagnosis of cancer. There is even evidence that art and music therapy reduce the length of hospital stays. Like music and art, dance and other forms of creative movement have also been shown to reduce stress and anxiety while improving self-awareness. For those who have went through any sort of troubling or traumatic experiences, creative writing has been shown to improve immune system function as well as other physical health symptoms and even reduce the number of doctor visits. Since art and creativity are clearly very beneficial to healthy living, shouldn't it be included in the common definition for good health? You'd be surprised to see that the World Health Organization actually does incorporate these things into the definition of holistic health. Viewing man in his totality within a wide ecological spectrum and emphasizing the view that ill health or disease is brought about by an imbalance or disequilibrium of man in his total ecological system and not only by the causative agent and pathogenic evolution. That's a mouthful, but in other words, health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being rather than just the absence of disease. So while we've been singing, dancing, and drawing to make ourselves feel better for centuries, now real science is showing us that it's actually making us healthier. Have you tried artistic expression as a way to improve your health? If so, what did you do and what benefits did you see? Or do you think that art therapy is a little too woo-woo? Let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm Maria Marlow, and thank you for watching. So the problem is, our bodies are in chronic repetitive stress response. The studies show that we're in stress response more than 50 times per day. And every time we're in stress response, the natural self-repair mechanisms get flipped off. So the mind and body are integrally linked in mm -hmm. this way.